I'm actually t- was Pastor David had just texted me saying that he's they just arrived in um, Moravian Falls and says he missed everyone already. <laughs> and he's hoping that we enjoy his service and he's praying they're praying there too. Um, wanted to share a couple of testimonies. Um, it happened last week in our men's prayer. Um, we had one person, one of the guys, was healed in his back. And we had another guy um, that gave up cigarettes. I had, <laughs> I don't say who it was. <laughs> but what happened was I asked him to, I took, we were just praying, the, the three, there were three guys that showed up for the por- portion of prayer. And each one of them had something, two things that were in common. One was they all had back issues and they all were smokers. So I took a cup and I put, had them put the cigarettes in the cup. And I said, we're going to pray over them. I said, I'm not going to tell you not to do anything specifically with the cigarettes, but I'm saying I believe, God, that this pack of cigarettes as you continue to smoke would make a change. But one of the guys took all the cigarettes out of them on the boxes and crushed them in, in front of him. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> I mean, at first I was kind of nervous, but I was like, oh, wow. Just seeing, like, wow, God just really took a hold of me. And they told me later on, they're fairly new here. They said that they could, because we took communion. They said I couldn't take communion knowing that I was going to um, smoke. So I decided to take the cigarettes and crush them because I feel like I wouldn't have been true before the Lord. And I was just like, wow. So we're just thanking God for what God is doing in the men. Tomorrow we're going to meet. Thursday there's men, there's um, combined prayer for everyone. Um, Friday we have the cave. Kim Abbott's going to be there at the cave. We ask everyone to come out. Um, I think that's, oh, Thursday night. I think they're still in the women, Rising Destiny on th- Thursday night. Are they still doing this week? Yes, they're doing, he's still doing the Rising Destiny for women on, on Thursday as well as evangelism at the same time at 7 p.m. Um, if there's any change or anything, you'll t- uh, check out notices on Facebook as well as on the, um, the text messaging. So it's time to give, and ask that everyone just Given the offering, and we're going to pray over it. Thanks, Jesus. So, Father, we just thank you, God, for tonight. We thank you, God, for all that you're going to do, oh God, and what you've already done, oh God, at this time of worship. We thank you, Lord, for all those, oh God, that are here, oh God. We ask that you bless each person, oh God, that's given on tonight, oh God. We ask that those even that are not able to give on tonight, that you would bless them as well, oh God. We thank you, God, for this time, oh God, just to be with you, Lord, in each class tonight, oh God. We ask that you give a special impartation to your people, oh God. And we thank and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We have the baskets and then some music. I think we just had a little bit of a cave uh, promo over here in the corner. <laughs> the different generations coming together and dancing. <laughs> so.
So, Father, we just thank you, God, for this offering, oh God. We ask you to bless every seed and every seed giver, oh God, and those who are unable to give, oh God. We just ask you to just bless the seed and multiply it in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, so I gave all the announcements. I'm very curious of what tonight's game is. I hope it doesn't involve worms or anything of that nature this week. I remember last week, and I, I knew somebody whispered my ear. They were like, oh, no, Wanda's going to be so paranoid when she figured out what, what she believed. <laughs> and then um, Bonnie, Bonnie was actually sitting near me when I came to the front. And she was like, let me give her some mints. And Richard was like, that ain't going to help. <laughs> I'm going to turn over to Pastor Freddie. Yeah, so uh, those that weren't here last uh, Tuesday, uh, we did a uh, dare factor kind of thing. Um, as he was saying, if you didn't catch it, um, some people enjoyed chocolate-covered ants. Some people enjoyed some bacon cheddar crickets. And uh, others had me Mexican-style mealworms. And Wanda was one of the four. Um, Denny took it down like nothing, was asking for more. Um, which I don't know about. <laughs> I don't know about eating more of those things, but I will say this. I will say this. They are flavored to be good. They're not. We. we I wasn't trying to be like a mean guy and make you like eat something and make you puke, you know. But uh, so for those that are here that haven't been here, every Tuesday we have what's called the icebreaker activity, and that's what we're about to do tonight. Is anybody first time here tonight? Any first timers? Was that? First time tonight? Who? Oh, yeah, you're right. For tonight, right? <laughs> well, to training for raining. So no friends tonight. All right. Well, let me share the scores with you guys because maybe that will change it for next Tuesday. So we are going to be looking to do a retreat. Um, Ronnie, you okay, buddy? Oh, you guys are, like, measuring. Okay, distance. That's great. So we're going to be giving away a, uh, a time for one winning team to enjoy fellowship and have some fun together. And uh, that will go to the winning team. As of now, Matt Butner had calculated points for team colors, Bibles, uh, and friends. Uh, and then I was able to take all those points and add the icebreaker points to that for the scores that I have now. So, um, Hopefully this will be motivation for some that, you know, want to go on that retreat to bring some friends because you get 150 points when you bring a friend on a Tuesday. So here we go. Fourth place at 2,371 points goes to the Giant Slayers. 2,371 points. And then just seven points above that, third place is the Warriors. Silent Warriors. Silent Warriors in third. Then we have a jump to second place. That's about 400 points. Second place with 2,886 points goes to the Dream Team. That means Tater Tots are in first place with 3,031 points. Woo! So... I think that our points will pretty much come to an end probably within the next four weeks. So you guys got one more month really to see how our points finalize. So everything is still, everything's still possible, all right? Some of you guys might be getting worried. You need to start, like, claiming, you know, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen? Start using the word to help you out. All right. So tonight, some of you guys are you know, probably looking at this cornhole board, and this is how we're going to do tonight. So we got one cornhole board. We have four teams. I wanted to look at the team that has the lowest amount of people, which would be Silent Warriors. If you're a Silent Warrior, can you stand up real quick? Because I just want to count you out. One, two, three, four. Who else is Silent Warriors? Five. Anybody else? Five? Okay. So that means I'm going to be looking for five people, each team, and what that means is, is that each team's going to go one, one at a time. They're going to line up individually, and they're going to take three shots each. Rox is going to count the points. If your bag lands on the board, that's one point. If it lands through the hole, that's three points. So we're going to place first, second, third, fourth based on 
the team with the most points all the way down to the team with the least amount of points. You got a question? It has to stay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for the clarification. It's important. So, so this right here would be, go ahead, Ronnie, go two of them just so we can see. Get a little warm up there. The line is the second pew. So that's zero. Roxy's not recording nothing for that. And then he's going to take another shot, and that's zero, okay? So at this time, I'm going to give you guys two minutes to select five people from your team that are going to be doing the bean bag competition. Five people per team at two throws each. Silent Warriors is going to be their entire team. All right. So let's let's clear out the middle. Let's clear out the middle. We're gonna have Silent Warriors line up first because they're they're it's very easy for them to go ahead and pick their five. Uh, it's not counting right now. All right. So everybody clear the middle. As you guys figure it out, clear out the middle. Silent Warriors are gonna go first because they don't have to pick anybody. And by the way, this is a, a this is a plug. For Friday, we're doing a cornhole tournament at the cave. And so those that love cornhole and want to play, this Friday, we're going to have an hour of a cornhole tournament. All right, so starting off with Silent Warriors, two, ba two throws each, two throws each. Exactly. If you're not Silent Warriors, we're going to ask that you sit down somewhere so you can see as you guys figure out who's going to be your five. All right, so. We're going to go ahead and start off with Silent Warriors, first five, two throws each. Line is second pew. All right. Dion, you're starting Silent Warriors off? Let's go, buddy. Let's see what you guys can score tonight. Five people on their team. Yep, five people. Woo, nice try. Nice try. Oh, three points. Three points just added to Silent Warriors. All right, who's next for Silent Warriors? All right, Doug, let's go, buddy. Two throws. Yep, second row. That's what Roxy stated, second row. All right, Doug. I've seen you make a hole in one uh, cornhole. Right. All right. All right, that's four points. That's four points. All right, who's next for Silent Warriors? You helping out? Great. All right. Two throws. Make them count. Make them count. Woo! You got some power in that throw. Oh! That's another three. All right, Chelsea. You can do it. Close. Make a count. Make a count. Woo! Nice try. Nice try. All right. Last one for Silent Warriors. Let's go, Ronald. Ronnie's had lots of lots of practice because our last vacation we played a lot of cornhole. Woo, he shot it like a basketball. There you go, another point. All right, we're going to go ahead and tell you the scores at the end. So next team, at this time, we're going to have the Giant Slayers line up. They're five, the Giant Slayers. Five from the Giant Slayers. All right, two throws each. I have to say, Silent Warriors, you guys did good. Two, two, yeah. I, I would say that's pretty good. If you guys can get two out of five people, that's not bad. Two holes. All right. Go for it, Wanda. Make a count. All right. All right. All right. Kids, be careful. Don't want to see anybody get hit upside the head. Be, ca be cautious here. All right. Next giant slayer. You can scoot up a little bit, Chris. Oh, 
Oh. Whoo, that's three. That's three. All right, third giant slayer coming up. The third giant slayer. No pressure, right? Everybody's watching. All these eyes. Nice. That was. Woo. All right, fourth giant slayer. The fourth giant slayer just came up. Nice try, nice try, nice try. And the last Giant Slayer to conclude 13 points. I remember uh, being a little little child and remember seeing Larry Lawrence play horseshoes. Yeah, that's one. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, kids, I, just, I have to just say kids, like, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we say go ahead and grab the bags. Until then, wait until we say that, okay? I'm sorry. It's hard to tell. Most of the time for it to fall forward is rare. All right. Next, next team is going to be second place team, dream team. Five people for the dream team. All right, all right, all right. First place team is going to win 200 points tonight. Second place, 150. Third place, 100. And fourth place, 50. All right. First up for the dream team is Amanda Jones. Play back a little. There you go. I like that hat. She's got some team spirit with that sparkly hat. Woo. All right. What did I say, guys? Kids, 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 kids. Listen. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Right here on the mic. What did I say? Did you guys hear me last time? So that's why I want you guys to look at me. You see me? You see me? Do not grab the bean bags until I say it's time to grab them. All right? Thumbs up. Uh, okay. We want to try it again? That's your choice, Amanda. You want to try it again? Or you want to take the point? All right, second person. I'm going to give you guys one point for that, Roxy. Second dream team. Yep. Oh. All right. You guys are good to go. Good job. Good job. This is the third player for the dream team. I do thank you guys for your help, by the way. Little ones, I do thank you guys. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, two each, two each, yep. All right, next player, Denny, which is the fourth person. Good job, yep, you guys can get him, you guys can get him. Awesome, awesome. All right, Denny, let's see what you got, buddy, what you got up your sleeve. He's the fourth one. Yeah, we need one more. Woo! Uh, is majority on? Okay, Ryan is saying majority is on. We'll give him a point. All right, last player for the dream team. Anne is up and ready to go. Thank you, Suleika. Oh, I'm going to check it out in a bit. I'm just going to measure it to make sure. Good job. Yeah, we're going to give her one point. One point. Good job. Good job. Last team, tater tots. Five tater tots. Five tater tots. Hey, hey sweetheart, I want to thank you. I wasn't trying to embarrass you. 
Thank you for your help. I was just making sure you heard me. That's all. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Oh, it's not me. It's you? Okay, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. All right, first tater tot. Ooh, nice try. Nice try. All right, so let's see. Yep. All right, second person. Behind the second row. All right, here we go, here we go. Second tater tot on the lineup. Woo. Wow. What, did did you see did you see where the board was? <laughs> Woo. Well, when we play it some more in the future, you know who not to have on your team. <laughs> All right, Karen's on deck. Tater tots are, uh, at the moment, looking a little weak in this uh, activity. Sorry. Majority's off on the ground. I'm sorry. I look for the majority. Well, we got two left. Two tater tots left. You see that? I wish I could do that in slow motion. <laughs> All right, and our last tater tot. That's a point. That's a point. Majority's on. Wow, they, they finished strong. Finish strong. So Rox is going to count up the points. So we got a tie game. There, therefore, because it's a tie game, we're going to have each team come back that's tied for one each. Ronnie, not right now. I'm trying to make announcements. So first place and second place teams tied with 10 points. So Tater Tots are going to be coming back up and Dream Team is going to be coming back up. Silent Warriors and Giant Slayers. Silent Warriors with eight points and Giant Slayers with seven points. Tater Tots Dream Team, they tied for 10. We're going to go through it one more time with just one bag each. One bag. So we'll start with Tater Tots. Line up again, Tater Tots. One bag each. One bag. One throw. Same five, just one throw. what tater tots are. Yep. All right, one bag each for a total of five throws between five people. Dream Team goes next. Tater tots are up. This is the tiebreaker for first place. You have a chance to redeem yourself. No points yet. Wow. Hey, hey, Gary, like, what about this? There you go. Wow, three for three. All right, Tater Tots with four points. Dream Team, you got to beat four points. Dream Team, one throw each. Got to beat four points. Good job, all teams, by the way. And for those that uh, have never played, this is what's called cornhole. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Most of the time you play with uh, partners, and you have one person from the partner group on each side playing against each other. All right, Amanda, start us off. Dream team. All right.
I feel like the dream team feels pressure. That's why, that's why they start up like that. Let's go. Come on. No pressure. No pressure. All right. We still have two people left to shoot for the dream team. Thank you, Susu. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, majority is off the board. All right, we need a hole in one. And we need a hole in one to tie the game. Nice drive. Nice try. Tater Tots, first place. Dream Team, second place. Silent Warriors, third. And Giant Slayers, fourth. Good job, guys. Everybody, good job. Hope you guys had fun with this icebreaker activity. Uh, at this time, we're going to get ready to break up in our discussion sec uh, sessions. Um, so you guys know where you go. This is actually the last time that you're going to be attending this class. Next Tuesday, we're rotating to different classes. So this is the last uh, week in this class before we rotate next week, okay? Thank you guys so much for playing. Let's get ready for some good discussions.